I need a change. You've been cold to me too many times. You're wasting money. You're a leaker. So I'm replacing you with a new Navian tankless water heater. No more cold shoulders. No more leaks. Just spa-like comfort and Navian peace of mind. And oh, I want you out today. When you're ready for a change, ask your plumber about Navian or visit tanklessmadesimple.com. Get Macy's lowest prices of the season on specials for cooler weather, like cute boots and booties starting at $27.99. And warm new coats for all, 50 to 60% off. And get cafe-style coffee at your fingertips with select Nespresso bundles for only $124.99. Now at Macy's. Plus, get your Macy's order faster when you pick up curbside or in-store. Or try same-day delivery powered by DoorDash. Savings off sale and clearance prices. Exclusions apply. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your home is going into foreclosure, and you feel like a financial wreck. You don't know where to turn for accurate information. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné. Let's talk about some legal options. If we work quickly, we can propose a plan to save your home, modify the loan, or in many cases, even eliminate your second mortgage. The consultation is free. I've helped hundreds of people just like you make informed decisions about whether to save their home or exit it on a reasonable, organized timeline. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. I don't know if you've seen this video, but it is spreading, and I feel bad for the woman that's the... Well, the person in the video because it's very embarrassing. Uh-oh. Yeah, she. Oh uh, boy. Yeah, uh, she was working with a flexibility coach to help her get more flexible, obviously, and so she was doing. A, <laughs> How's her husband feel about that? Hey, I swear it's for us. Yes, um, <laughs> and of course, uh, yeah, she was probably doing deep stretches for us, and uh, he was helping with a deep stretch. But you know, sometimes you know this, Steve. If you do yoga or whatever, where you get into all these weird poses. Sometimes the gas just starts a flying, and for this poor woman, that happened. <laughs> she handled it well. It sounded like she was laughing about it. Yeah, that was oh, aggressive. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it really was. That was yeah, giant one. That was that was giant. That was that was real deal. <laughs> Do you have the video? Yeah. How close is he to? Oh my! Oh, he's real close. Yeah. He, oh boy, oh, he's like. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. dude, he snaps back. Yeah. Kind of like 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 Lulu does now when Tatum tries to touch her. Yeah. Like, Whoa. <laughs> oh. Yeah. He's uh yeah he's right in the he, he's right in the blast zone. So and, what's he doing? He's just pushing down. Oh, yeah. He's oh, just really yeah. for. Yeah. I mean, you yeah. can't you can't blame her. He's basically forcing her down. Yeah, he's like, forcing all of the air she's out. In, yeah, right. She, yeah. She's in the child pose. If you know anything about yoga, and, and then he's getting on her back. And uh, it's just like like you're praying, like you're you know basically if you're doing your uh, well, it's you like know, a, a downward dog or you know, child's well, pose. That's child's pose, yeah. Yes. So she's in child's pose, and then he's getting on her uh-huh. back and pushing her down even more. And well, that's yeah, you're, 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 you you can't <laughs> you can't hold that back. There's no. nothing you can do about. I that. love that the gym. At first, I thought the gym had a different name because it was like cropped out at the top. It's it's, it's busy body fitness center, but yeah. I thought it said busty body fitness center. I'm like, how do we sign up for the gym membership to this place, boys? You are one busty lady. Thank you. <laughs> wow. You know, Steve, at some point you got to ask yourself, brain, what are we aligned for? What do we keep seeing? I mean, you know what I mean? Look at it, though. You see, uh, you see busty body. Yeah. Look, up there. Yeah. At first it was cropped off, so I just saw B-U-S and then body. I'm like, well, it's got to be. And then I saw the Y come quick. Hey, what do you want from me? <laughs> <laughs> I just know where your mind goes. I just, you know, I, that, that's exhibit A. I also like, I think my favorite part of the video is that the two girls, like, are sitting, there's two girls sitting on the bench, and they're, like, trying to take a selfie or something, and it literally scares them when she farts. <laughs> like, it's like, what just happened? Yeah. So like, oh, Sheila, there she goes again, farting. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. You're in a, you're in a, uh, you're in a setting. It's not like it was just her working privately with the coach. I mean, he's in a gym with other people with her. He toppled over, too, which is yeah. fantastic. So he, you know, he handled it like a pro. Yeah, yeah. he rolled out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Got to dodge those yeah. blasts. Yeah, definitely. I mean, she, he was right there in the blast zone. But I've I mean, had that. I've had that in wrestling. Like sometimes, I mean, like you said, like when your body's moving in spots where you can't hold things in, and it's just like you're flexing and you're you're bending. 
you, you can't help it. But it's so embarrassing the first couple times. Yeah. After about 15, 20 times, people just expect it from me now. Yeah. Well, she, but, she took it like a champ. <laughs> well, I'm more like he took it like a champ. They both were champs in that thing. because he for gave some, it like a champ. Because, like, you know, it's, it, for some people, it's very mortifying. Yeah. yeah, you know, in a group setting like that, especially when women will tell you the the the, the old wives tale, they they don't do that. They, they they that never happens to women. It only happens to men. And, and that's part of why my wife won't take me to a yoga class. Oh, I yes, I wouldn't take knows. you either. I wouldn't either. I don't blame her. Like this is not a source of contention. Like I'm like you're absolutely right. Because I know, like, one time my buddy Cooper and I wrestle, and we were doing a thing where it's a it's a back body drop. So I'm coming at him, and he bends down. And grabs like kind of like my legs and then flips me over him. So I'm flying over him. And rounds I'm flying over him, I can't hold anything in. Like I just want to land and die, not die. Yeah. So all of a sudden it's like Rrr. and I'm like, it's coming down, buddy. <laughs> As I'm coming down, it's like it's like this this gas vapor is coming oh, down with me. This is horrible. Yeah, we gotta put training on pause for a second because we're laughing so hard. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, that's a that's a beating. <laughs> what are you gonna do? I you're, you're right, which is why I don't do any of that because I'm uh, Steve, I'm no better than you. I can't go to those classes because I am I, I mean it, it yeah, I can't hold it in either. It works to my advantage in hockey though, because as a goalie, a lot of times you have guys standing in front of you that do not want to get out of the way, you know, because they're trying to blind you from seeing the puck. Right. So I just rip ass the entire time. I don't even care. And nerves and everything, it's just how I am. Like, I'm just farting the entire time I'm in the crease. And there's one time where a guy's standing in front of me trying to, like, screen me so I can't see the puck. And he just goes, you do that? I'm like, yep. He's like, screw this. And he just <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's fantastic. The that's rep a- comes over because they eventually scored. No, no surprise. Uh, and the rep comes over to get the puck. He goes, what are you doing in here? Yeah. Like, it was just like, I'm almost like disappointment. <laughs> Yeah, the ref's like, okay, hold on. Now, you know, before COVID, I need a mask around this guy. I was like, my bad, dude. What do you want from me? Yeah, listen, this is my. It's the way I keep them out of the crease. Exactly. That's not bad. It's a pretty good idea. I think when you're doing anything physical, you just kind of have to expect that that person might fart around you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I, 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 I that's why I don't go to the group things either. Just like it's, <laughs> it, it, it's like I can't. I just know me. I know my diet, and I know me. And it's like, yeah, you don't want to, <laughs> you don't want to do yoga with me. Go, go by yourself. Do all your classes by yourself. What about what if that guy said, "Hey, I'll help you with your flexibility." <laughs> oh, <laughs> you well, well, then I'll take him up on it. Sure. I kind of would just be like, all right, Dale, yeah, at your own risk. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't think. Yeah. And and I. I mean, I. Oh man. Yeah. So uh, I just texted. So where is Vicky's fart video? Asking for a friend. Oh. Danny, stop texting. Wow. The show. Wow. People Sorry. want people want Vicky to make a fart video now. Is that what they want? I guess. All right. Well, once I set up the OnlyFans, then you can request dude, it for a fee for like a hundred bucks. Yeah. There are there are people into that actually. Yeah. That, that is a thing. Right. So I mean, if you're gonna do it, you might as well do it for like you know. Okay, you want me to fart? All right, you got to pay me a hundred dollars. Yep. And what do you do? How do you have yeah. my offers for yeah. this? Yeah. But Rev, no, no, people are going to pay for you not to fart. Yeah, that's Ooh, the thing. Yeah. Like you start your OnlyFans page, <laughs> and you'll be the anti. And, uh, you know, if you are a, maybe if you were a, a, a young woman, perhaps maybe they would actually pay for you to What was that one girl that was like, she had an Instagram page where, it, oh, I can't believe I even remember this, but like, <laughs> she, here we go. <laughs> she basically would just fart in creative ways. Yeah. And like, she was like, sometimes like, you know, when taking a bath or like doing something. Oh, I remember that girl. Yeah. And she was very attractive and, and she would like give you like this, like very like, like seductive look while she's doing it. Just I mean, mainly just for it was a joke. Was she the one that did the gender reveal that way? And she had blue powder yeah. and pink powder. That, oh, that was funny. Yeah, yeah. No wildfires happened from that. People. No, that's for sure. <laughs> You're absolutely right. Her gender reveal was uh, save the environment, sort of. Yeah, that's the only gender reveal party I can get behind. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't want to get behind it. You just want to be. In- <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hey, we got a story about somebody. Uh, somebody broke into a house, but how about this? They break into a house. They don't steal anything, but yeah, they uh, they did something way worse. What do they do? Uh, Steve's going to tell you. He's got the Migs report for you at six seventeen on the Rock. BJ and Migs mornings on the Rock ninety nine point nine KISW. Get Macy's lowest prices of the season on great fall specials like glamorous diamond pendants and earrings to complete any look. Now 60% off. And get ready for cooler nights ahead with 65% off Charter Club damask sheets and bedding. Now at Macy's. Plus get your Macy's order faster when you pick up curbside or in store. Or try same day delivery powered by DoorDash. Savings off sale and clearance prices. Exclusions apply. You can tell when your car battery's dying. 
But with your water heater, you'll never know until it starts leaking. Before you buy another tank, consider a Navian tankless water heater. No storage tank to heat or leak. Lower energy bills and endless hot water for spa-like comfort. All backed by Navian's strong warranty. If your water heater is over 8 years old, it's time to check out Navian at tanklessmadesimple.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. If you're hearing an informative newscast right now, well, then you must not be listening to BJ and Migs. Live from the KISW News Center in downtown Seattle, this is the Migs Report. Oh, sorry. (laughs) You okay over there? I I just was getting into the tune, man. Oh, all right. Special day. I'm very excited. I think I need to celebrate it later on today. Today is National Double Cheeseburger Day. Oh, Oh, nice. So don't just get one cheeseburger. Throw another piece of beef on there. Yeah. That's right. Might I recommend the double Whopper at Burger King? Yes. All right. I think it's under not underrated. Obviously, people love the Whopper, but I never think about going for the double Whopper. And boy, oh boy, is that just... It's a game changer. It is. I mean, it's it's more than 50% better. I'd say it's like 90% better. Wow. Yeah. It's just something about it, man. It's just... That's the way to go. So you just add basically just another all beef patty on there, and it, you know, that's 90% better. Yes. Flame wow. broiled... Oh, goodness. Okay. In my mouth. Yes. Alrighty. Okay. So I, I, I really don't I don't have the math on that, but I'm going to follow it. I'm going to go with you. Or some might go to Wendy's, get that double Baconator, and slap some cheese on there. So it, technically it's a cheeseburger. How many percent better is that? That's 75% better oh. than uh, the single Baconator. Okay. Well, this math is really confusing me, but it's I'm going to take your word for it. Yeah. It's Scott Steiner math for us yeah. wrestling fans. You know what <laughs> that's all about. Right? I get that. it. <laughs> all right. Well, anyways, let's head on over uh, to Ontario, Canada. This might be the most messed up story I think I've ever heard in my life. Uh, somebody broke into a home in Canada, in Ontario, in the middle of the night. They did not steal anything. They did not break anything. But the homeowners a little disturbed by what they did do. They dropped the number two in their dishwasher. In the dishwasher? Right. What? Exactly. Why would you do that? How do you do that? That's like flexibility there. Like, we've had this conversation, my wife and I, where she's like, if someone broke into our home, we might have to move out. And I'm like, you understand how difficult it is to sell a house? In this situation, if someone broke into my home and pooped in my dishwasher, that house is on the market the next day. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I get in. I, I guess you could just buy a new dishwasher. Ah, no, get out of the house. I feel like it tainted the entire home. It surely did. Wow. Cops are still trying to track this person down. At least they could do a DNA test. That's a good point. I mean, if anything, you don't have to worry about fingerprints. But that's... Gosh. Yeah, but no. That's, I mean... <laughs> Why? Yeah. And that's it. That's just what happened. That's it. They did not break anything. Well, they broke the dishwasher, in my opinion. Yeah. I don't think there's any cycle that you could put that on that's uh, going to clean it. Oh, God, yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. You had to be high when you're doing something like that. Yeah, I think I think that's what it is. Yeah. I mean, or is it a bet? Is it a bunch of teens and that's a bet? No. I dare you to go into Mr. You know, McGillicuddy's home and poop in his dishwasher? That's a very good point. I think they're probably monitoring social media because if they're not high, then it's got to be social media. I hope that's not going to be a new TikTok trend. I don't even know what we call it. The poop cycle? Yeah. The, the, <laughs> Hashtag yeah. poop cycle. The tick plop. Tick plop. Yeah, that's what it's going to be. All right, we go from that uh, craziness. Uh, to a lady that's completely lost her mind at a Kentucky Fried Chicken at a KFC. She shows up. She's angry. She's maskless. And she decides to jump on the counter, not realizing it's not a bar where you dance on the bar. It's actually just a KFC in California. And all they want to do is just serve people delicious chicken. That's all they want to do. That's all they want to do. I mean, I don't understand why this woman just can't show up and be like, I like fried chicken. And be done with it. Right. No. Instead, she starts yelling at them. I thought she was demanding some meat. But then when I guess you listen to the audio a little bit more and we have audio of her having a meltdown at the KFC, I guess she's saying, I want something to eat. But at first I'm like, man, this girl likes to party. Yeah, she wants to meet. Here's the audio of her dealing with the KFC employees as she's yelling at them at this KFC in California. I'm hungry! Now! Do the same thing! Do it to me! Now! Do it! Please eat buttons! I can't, you have to, you have to wear a mask, you. That's okay, you can wear a mask. I have a mask in the car. 
Oh, she is just... <laughs> Who's the guy in the background? I have a mask in the car if she wants one. Yeah, that's... He's just... He's like, can we stop this? And I have something for her to eat as well. Yeah, I mean, yeah. He's probably like, well, she's kind of attractive. I'll take crazy lady. I'll take her. Oh, there she is just standing oh, there. She kicked she... over somebody's cup. Yeah. And she's just this on the is... counter looking like a crazy person. See, moments like this where I I really have to question my decisions when I go to a fast food place and I go through the drive through I never get to see these cool moments. No. People might be losing their damn ass. I think that's what's going on. I think some of the fast food restaurants in Washington are smart. Like, if you close the lobby, you only got you only got drive up, so no one can dance on your counter. Right. I do like her call and response. It was a good chemistry between her and the employee. You need to wear a mask. F you. You need yeah. to wear a mask. F you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. Well, anyways, uh, yesterday was a doubleheader for the Mariners. Started off well. Started off kind of scary. They were like down like five nothing. Big rally. Win game one. Yeah. But a big comeback, six to five. But then the run stopped because they ended oh. up losing the second one. But the runs continued for the A's. They won 9 to nothing in Game 2. Oh, damn. They play the Giants tonight at 640. They're still a game and a half out of that second-place spot in the AL West. By making it into second place this year, that also means you go into the playoffs. So that's right. very exciting for the Mariners and Mariners fans. So hopefully they can beat the Giants tonight. In the NHL Stanley Cup uh, Eastern, no, Western Conference Finals, the Stars were down, I think, 2-1, to one, rallied to go into overtime, 2-2 tie, score in overtime, beating the Vegas Golden Knights 3-2 to two for a 4-1 series victory. Uh, so they're off to the Stanley Cup Finals. Dallas is, and they'll find out maybe who they're playing tonight because it's Game 5, Tampa Bay versus the Islanders. Tampa Bay has a 3-1 series lead, so they could wrap it up tonight. And as one person texted in yesterday, he says, when I think of cold, ice, and hockey... I think of Dallas and Tampa Bay. Exactly. <laughs> like, yeah, that's a good point. It still could be a fun series, though, that's for sure. So we'll see what happens tonight between the Tampa Bay Lightning and the New York Islanders. Monday Night Football last night, two games. Yeah. The Steelers beat the New York Giants in game one, 26 to 16. And the second game, holy smokes, I don't know if you were watching it, but if you're a fan of watching a kicker have a meltdown, oh, really? boy, oh, boy, that was the game to watch. So I didn't, I didn't see that. Titans were playing the Denver Broncos, uh, and their kicker for the, for the Titans missed all four of his field goal attempts during the game. Oh, damn. So, of course, the game is now at 14-13 towards the end. The The Broncos are up, so they need this guy to kick a field goal to win the game. Again, he's missed all, all four so far. What happens? Listen. Steven Goskowski trots out of the field. He can erase the nightmare of a game that it is for him with four missed kicks by just hitting this one. A chippy from 25 on the way and splits the uprights. 16 14, Tennessee. There you go, Guskowski. Leaves as a hero. Imagine if he missed it again. I mean, oh, seriously. I thought for sure he was gonna. Yeah. Because it's like, that's like one of the most, like, I, you, we talk about hockey, like the goaltender's a psychological position to the point where some goalies, they frequently visit a therapist during the season so they can keep their mind right because, you know, you have a bad play, you give up a bad goal, it gets in your head. Kicker's no different. Like, you screw up a kick, it's like a downward spiral. We've seen it here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought for sure, oh, man, this is his uh, ticket out of the league. Yeah. Saved it. Won Damn. the game, 16-14. to 14. So, there you go. How bad are the Broncos? I mean, seriously, you basically get you get down and you say, no matter how good they drive down the field, you will not give them any points because their kicker is going to help you. I mean, so that was those were drives, really right. good drives by the Titans and the Broncos had four get out of jail free passes and they stink. Caesar, I'm just going over this for you, one of our listeners who loves the Broncos. How bad are the Broncos? I was about to say, you do realize that at this very moment when Caesar is listening to our show, he's going to send you a message. Yeah, well, I, I can't. He, what's he going to say? You can't disagree with. He's going to say yes, you are right. Yeah, Jay. my Broncos a, are bad. It's a sad year for the Broncos. As far as weather, it's 80 degrees. Usually they say it's 80 degrees and sunny. Today it's 80 degrees and unhealthy. That's what it oh, says. I mean, that's kind of what the weather designation yeah. is these days. They were wrong. They thought oh. we were getting some sort of weather pattern that would knock this uh, smoke out, and they were wrong. So well, it's going to be rain, with longer. Rain in the overnight, that was kind of nice. Yeah, I, but they thought oh. it would do a lot more than it did, and yeah. it, it did not. Oh. And so here we are, Smokey oh. McGee. Well, that's yeah. the major report, and that's what's up. There's a woman in Houston. Uh, her name is Catherine, and she flies a lot for work. So she's she's doing a lot of flying, even with the pandemic. And uh, I guess what she's been doing is she walks around airports handing out inspirational notes to random strangers. And she started doing this before COVID hit. And the pandemic hasn't slowed her down. She's like, well, I'm in airports a lot, so I'm so going to do this. I, I would imagine it's going to freak people out unless she's like, how is she handing the note over? Has I she agree. Got gloves on? I don't know. Yeah, I agree, dude. I don't think I want anybody to hand me anything in an airport. I don't care how gloved up you are. 
Why would I take that? I'd take it. Oh, you would? Uh, and she says, look, I mean, her intentions are good. She says she's just looking for people who might be having a bad day. Sometimes I'm just like, you know, who needs a note? I like it. Thank you. Uh, have a good morning. You too. You are beautiful. Don't make some magic today. I don't feel very beautiful right now because I'm tired. <laughs> so it means a lot. So if I do something nice for somebody, then they'll do something nice for somebody and it just kind of spreads. I mean, what are you going to do? You can't argue with this woman. I mean, it's right. wonderful. It's nice. I mean, there's nothing to say except... That's know, pretty cool. Uh, uh, me, during COVID, though, I ain't taking it. No. <laughs> yeah. yeah, read it to me. <laughs> yeah. I'm Six say, feet away, lady. Yeah, what are you trying to say, lady? Get out of here. You know? I got my crazy face shield on. Exactly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stay away I, from me. You should see me at the airport. I I've am face pictures. shielded and everything. I got my, my, I got my, gator, uh, my gator mask on, the face shield. Oh, yeah. I'm, yeah, if I saw you, I wouldn't hand you a note because I'm like, this guy is clearly afraid. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he doesn't want anything near him at all. Right. Why would I want to mess with that guy? Yeah. I mean, that's kind of, I mean, I'm surprised more people aren't face shielding at the airport. I, You know, there are certain places where you go, okay, I a mask should be enough, but the airport, man, I mean, that is just a Petri dish. That's yeah. why the face shield, to me, is just, I'm surprised people aren't doing both. Yeah, see, like, prior to the COVID stuff, and also with Darian, I mean, I think what she's doing is pretty cool, because it's just like, you know, sometimes you just need to read something nice, and it's kind of cool that a random stranger, like, okay, for instance, like, I drive in every morning, I get on Shaw Road in Puyallup, and you know, you see all these stupid political um, signs oh, yeah. in the dirt, right? Yeah. Like so, like you got like the the road, and then they got like this like little mid- middle thing on Shaw Road where it's like got well oh, the some, median kind of thing. Yeah, it's kind of like a little mini one. Yeah, and so people are putting all their dumb political ads there, but somebody has decided just to put like words of encouragement there as well that oh. look like a political ad. Like it's oh, that's like, cool. It's like a white cardboard thing. First one I see, and I turn on to on to Sean. It just says like, "You are enough." I'm like, "Damn right, I am enough." <laughs> <laughs> like, eat my banana. Yeah, and then it's like. It's, uh, the next one says something like, you know, great things ahead or something like, you are worth it. And I'm just like, you know, as dumb as that is, it puts me in a better mood when I see him. Yeah. Well, and you know what? Uh, that's so funny. It's like, I think I think that person must have read a Brene Brown book because that's a big problem for a lot of people in the world is is not thinking they're enough and it sends them into a neurosis. And Brene Brown says it's a it's like a pandemic of psychology that's happening in the in, in the country. So somebody putting a sign up like that's actually doing good work. Oh, one of them says you got this. Oh, that's a good one for you. Yeah. Yeah, that's like... Shove that whole banana in my mouth. I was like, you're damn right I do. That's 80s. Whoa. Wasn't 80s when we came up with, you got this? Or is it, just do it? Uh, (laughs) Well, it's kind of on the same note. You know what I mean? Just... Do yeah. it! Oh, you got this. You got this, Jimmy. Oh, we should start making those like political signs, but have it be a, a Shia LaBeouf and have him just like have his quotes. Make your dreams come true. I love this idea. Just I like this. Do it. And just have Shia, like Shia for something, and then make your dreams come Shia true. Shia for life. Shia for life. <laughs> yes, you can. Yeah. Just do it. <laughs> I'm not going to do this, but that's know. a great a idea. You can put it right up in the median. But it takes a lot of effort. Oh, but don't you want to make people feel shy? No, I want other people to make me feel good. Yeah. All right, well, is that the whole thing? Hey, that's right. I forgot. It really is about you. I'm that's not asking right. for a cigarette. You said no. I said word. <laughs> I think that's all I need to know to make my word. vote for Shia. I'm going to vote for Shia. He said no word. I have a buddy that his he's a wrestler. His wrestling character is like he's like this sad emo character. He's Dante Smythe, and he. Walks around with a notepad as he's going around into the crowd. He writes people's personalized notes like this lady, but his are on the other end. So it'll say, like, you are not worth it. Oh, like, nice. You'll never amount to anything. Oh, geez. <laughs> oh, I like this guy already. <laughs> he gave me one. It's like I handed it to me. I'm like, oh, and it says, nobody cares about you. I'm like, thanks. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, damn. But it's kind of funny because that's like his character. He's like this mopey dude. How about this? I don't think he should do that at the airplane, yeah, airport. They, oh, oh, yeah? No. Why not? Well, he's got to balance her out. He could follow her around. Yeah. And write mean things. It's the yin and yang of inspiration. What she said? Lies. Yeah, <laughs> lies. Just lies. <laughs> Yesterday, Steve, he did get this one wrong. What does the earth do to cause night and day? Revolve around the sun. No. Have the sun revolve around it? No. <laughs> I don't know, man. I can tell. Um, the, the, the stuff. The stuff? No. Science! This stuff. Yeah, the stuff. That's Well, I mean, arguably, he's right. Earth does what it's got to do. It rotates. That's the stuff. You got this, Steve. You got this. <laughs> I you, promise, you dummy. <laughs> 206 rock Beat Migs at 647. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. 
What's the difference between filing for bankruptcy and credit counseling? Uh, credit counseling is a is a useful process in some circumstances, but it does show up on your credit. In fact, from a credit scoring standpoint, credit counseling shows up just like a bankruptcy, so it's going to affect your credit as negatively as filing bankruptcy. In credit counseling, the idea is, is that a credit counselor works with your creditors on your behalf to try to lower interest rates or work out payment plans with your creditors uh, to, to pay back your debt over time. Uh, in credit counseling, you almost always pay back 100% of the debt, sometimes at lower interest. And of course, some creditors will participate in that process and some won't. Uh, so you're usually left with kind of a mixed uh, result with credit counseling and of course, a high payment. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choosetherightchapter.com. That's choosetherightchapter.com. Thanks for listening. Get Macy's lowest prices of the season on specials for cooler weather, like cute boots and booties starting at $27.99. And warm new coats for all, 50 to 60% off. And get cafe-style coffee at your fingertips with select Nespresso bundles for only $124.99, now at Macy's. Plus, get your Macy's order faster when you pick up curbside or in-store. Or try same-day delivery powered by DoorDash. Savings off sale and clearance prices, exclusions apply. 